Here's my early verdict in terms of the Thanksgiving season. This is the same turkey that you saw in August, and it's not going to taste any better in November. It's not much different than what worried you in August. In fact, it's gotten a little bit worse. We're joined now from Capitol Hill by Senator Bob Menendez, Democrat of New Jersey and the author of the brand new book, Growing American Roots. Congratulations on the book and uh, congratulations on getting a bill finally uh, moving, moving its way toward the floor, Senator. Uh, I want to start. Does this Congressional Budget Office score, does that change the politics of getting 60 votes on the health care bill? Well, certainly the Congressional Budget uh, Office estimates are incredibly important. Uh, it shows that uh, we're going to reduce the deficit even more, that it's fully paid for, uh, that we will cover 31 million uh, Americans more. Uh, and uh, I think that when we look at uh, the 120 some odd billion dollars in savings uh, over the first 10 years, uh, the, the next 10 years even more significantly so, uh, I think uh, all of those uh, uh, numbers by the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office uh, speaks volumes about what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, reducing costs for those who have health insurance, creating opportunities for those who do not have health insurance, fully paying for and at the same time uh, reducing the deficit which is so important to our economic future. Senator, uh, for a long time I've covered Democrats talking about uh, health care reform efforts. For years they put the numbers of the uninsured at 45 million, 46 million, 47 million. We are now looking at uh, numbers of 31 million. A large part of that group being left out are, are illegal immigrants and so much, you were just talking about cost, so much of what we heard from Democrats over the years is, is saying that the reason this is needed and that everyone needs to come in is because basically these people go to the emergency room and it, ju it jumps up your costs that way. Well, if we leave illegal immigrants out of this bill and we're only at 31 million covered, then how do costs come down? Aren't those illegal immigrants still going to go to emergency rooms and affect the costs for all of us? Well, no, the, the reality is, is that what we are doing here in the reforms that are instituted as part of the bill is what ultimately uh, bends the cost curve and brings costs down. Also, by getting 31 million people who presently have no health insurance whatsoever uh, and then go to an emergency room when their illness is much worse and therefore much more consequential to their lives and a greater cost to all of us who pay for those emergency room visits in our insurance through higher premiums, uh, the reality is that creating coverage for all those people uh, is part of bringing down the cost. So the delivery systems reforms, uh, the way in which we compensate providers so that it's performance not on the number of transactions they make and bringing more people uh, into the healthcare system are all elements of how we drive down that cost. So you're comfortable leaving those immigrants out right now, those illegal immigrants out of this coverage? Well, certainly uh, we're not going to use subsidies for people who are undocumented uh, in this country, but we are going to permit legal permanent residents uh, who are working and pay taxes to have access to the subsidies that they qualify for. How about in the, can, if you're an undocumented immigrant in this country, do you have access to the insurance offered under the insurance exchange? I'm sorry, I need to hear that again. W would you have access as an undocumented immigrant to the, the coverage provided by the new insurance exchange? Well, look, you know, in my view, if they use their own money to purchase insurance without any taxpayer subsidy, it would make a lot of sense to get people who might become in some way in an emergency room a public charge that we would all pay for, offer that possibility, use their own money to pay for an insurance under the exchange, but to be able to do so, however, and not receive any subsidy. And the, Senate bill, the Senate bill does that? The Senate bill, no, the Senate bill doesn't allow that. The Senate bill uh, says that if you are a legal permanent resident, someone who came to this country claimed by someone else uh, and uh, are uh, here in a legal status as a U.S. permanent resident, that you, if you qualify, could have access to the subsidy. There's a difference between that person who comes legal and is here right, on the right. lawful presence versus another. Senator, in our final minute with you here, can you tell us why you chose now to write this book about growing American roots? Well, I, I wrote the book because I'm tired of listening to a lot of talk show hosts who seem to have a problem with the Hispanic community in this country and would paint us all as if we just crossed the border yesterday, when in fact uh, the Hispanic community in this country has had a presence here since before the founding of the country. 
Uh, you know, uh, Pedro Aviles de Menendez founded the oldest city in the United States, St. Augustine's, Florida. Uh, Bernardo de Galvez, the governor of Louisiana before Louisiana was ever a state, uh, ultimately defended uh, George Washington and helped stop the British advance uh, on Washington. If we go here to Washington, uh, D.C., and go to uh, Farragut Square, actually, Admiral David Farragut was a Spaniard who fought on behalf of the Union naval forces uh, and coined the phrase, damn the torpedoes, full right. speed ahead. Right. And so we have been here since before the founding of the country. We have been patriots both in its creation and its defense. We are a trillion dollar domestic marketplace right. in this nation. And you can't feel the Major League Baseball team or maybe look at television <laughs> without seeing it. Definitely the case. Senator Bob Vanette is Democrat of New Jersey. Growing American Roots is the new book. Thanks for being here. Thanks a Thank lot, you. Senator. That does it for this edition of Top Line. Click us on again tomorrow. Twitter.com slash the note. That baseball thing is right.